Hi guys, I wanted to show you uh, the new corpses that they added uh, recently. Uh, there's new corpses that can make you craft uh, really good bases like uh, rituals, ritual bases, graspy mills, and also you can influence your items while fracturing them. This is, uh, has never happened before, uh, other than like bugs and stuff like that, I think. And having fractured influence items is crazy. I'll show you why. Uh, for example, this is a graspy mill. Uh, you can actually roll the specific mods that are only on this chest, for, for example, global defense, and then you can fracture them, and on top of that, you can roll influenced mods. For example, this one has two influences, so they forced one influence with this one, uh, Elder Shaper, or the um, Conqueror one, and then they Awaken Orb. So you can fracture, roll your mods, and then Awaken Orb. Uh, and the game multiple uh, elevated uh, elevated mods at once, which is crazy. For example, this for this one they elevated um, curses with uh, gems, and then they probably did suffix cannot be changed reforged cold, and or multiple mods suffix cannot be changed reforged cold for feast taken as, and then they are crafted attributes. So you can do some crazy stuff like this is a deck stacking chest with the attack speed mod. Uh, you can get power charges fractured on a prefix while other getting other influence mods. The, the amount of stuff that we can do is crazy and the crafting has never been... Uh, it's almost like harvest back in the days. Almost. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I craft uh, these uh, eight link helmets. I've been making them since yesterday. I made like around 210 divines profit using this uh, method, which was not really optimal, and I'm trying a new one. I put it here. It's gonna be in the spreadsheet. I'm gonna put it in, um, in the spreadsheet here. Uh, I'll put the link in the link description. The setup is gonna be like this. Uh, in this uh, empty slot here, there's gonna be a ritual mod. It doesn't show... Um, we, we can't look for it in this uh, app, so I just typed it. It's gonna be the ritual element of boots and gloves. Everything else you can just follow. The only thing you need to be careful of, uh, whenever there's adjacent here, for example, let's go here, it should be adjacent, make sure that you're matching them with the, the four corners, like the four sides. So if you put beast here, effect of beasts, make sure that you have beast gem, beast resistance, beast tier, and uh, beast tier here. Because if you don't, this instead of 70, for example, is going to give us 50, right? You need to multiply it. The same goes here. Uh, this craft is going to be expensive. The craft additional uh, corpse, uh, um, the additional craft uh, corpses are about three divines now. So to do this craft alone is going to be 27 divs, but we're going to get five helmets at once. So, and also there's going to be the craft of exile uh, link in the spreadsheet up here. I'll put it here, testing new stuff. And also I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try to finish the full craft. This is what I got yesterday. I sold for 160 divines. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step craft for everything. Uh, this one. Uh, oh, the last one is not showing, but it was I unveiled plus two, and then it was done. Okay, so I'm going to click and see what happens. Uh, we have... Uh, 900... 9, 98, 100, 39. So we want plus four items, two fracture mods, Minus two explicit plus one item level so we can get all mods 85. And then uh, we want ritual base. We can select helmet and then we do blizzard crown, which is the best. And then it needs to be level 85 with two mods. It should be around 90 ish percent. Uh, one of the mods doesn't show here in the odds because there's one mod that increases the chance of all of these mods which is Shaper Mods by 200%. So it's not going to be 93 like this. It's going to be a little bit lower, but it should still be pretty high, at least 80%. I, I, I'm expecting at least three or four helmets from this uh, out of the five. So let's see. I'm clicking it. Exercise. <clears throat> and we are aiming for uh, this one. We're aiming for Inkeoi and Apothermia. We can force the critical and the more elemental damage with an essence and the suffix will not be changed for crit. And we can force the plus two with an Isling, uh, a Veiled Orb, and then we can craft life. And Immolate Conk, which is uh, bad because we got Elder, unlucky. If we get Elder, we get, um, there's a 50-50 that we can roll Elder or 
we roll uh, Shepherd. If we roll Elder, we lose. So we basically fail three times, which is... Uh, uh, it's a 50-50. We got three Elders, which is unlucky. And then Hypothermia Conk, which is perfect. And Hypothermia Conk... Uh, hypothermia Area. So we got two bases perfect. And then there's a 50-50. Uh, if this rolled Shepherd, this would be like a 90% chance of getting uh, this base. So we got two bases. Now I'm going to go by... Um, Matilda's to craft these, and we're gonna show you how to craft them, okay? Uh, be right back. Okay, I went ahead and bought all the materials that we might need to craft these elements. First of all, we want to make them rare, so we just wriggle them. And then, the second step, we want to use Essence of Horror, because we want to get the 30% more elemental damage on a suffix. And we want to get a prefix open and a suffix open, so that is to craft. So, we got... That is perfect. We got more elemental damage, and then a prefix and a suffix open. If you get something like this uh, with cold res and it fills suffixes, you just annul and try to remove it. If you if you fail, you can just uh, order again. So uh, we're in this tab now. What we can do is um, get the bench. Let's put, let's put in the in near the craft the harvest one. <clears throat> okay. So we want a suffix gonna be changed and reforce crit. Uh, and want to go for three crit suffix gonna be changed. And then we do reforce crit. We want to go for three spell crit, which which is a one in three. Uh, we go one. So in this case, if you go one, we just annul and a 50 50. Yep. And we got it back. Now we do suffix no be change again. Uh, wrong bench. Suffix no be change, reforce crit. We, we go again until uh, reforce crit or suffix cannot. Okay, we reverse crit, we want to go for three, and we got three, but the prefixes are full, so we have to annul, this is a 50-50, we want to remove a prefix, and we remove the crit, which is bad, and we have an open, uh, we don't have an open prefix, so we have to annul again, okay, and we go again, uh, we need to put in the bands here, our stuff is going to be changed, <clears throat> reforce crit, we're going for three, we go one again, we have to annul, we go again. Uh, if at any point your helmet breaks, you can always uh, order again and bring it back to the point where we are at now. So a bit. We reforce crit one to go for three. We got two. We have to no. Unlucky. So we bricked it. Now we go order again. We have one open previous one open suffix, so it's perfect. We can do suffix cannot be changed. <clears throat> this is pretty expensive, but uh, the helmets are really good, and most people are using them. Uh, even Rutus is using one. Ru Pure Profile. Even Custom Creed DD is using something like this, which is uh, like one of the most played builds right now. So uh, even though it's expensive, it, it it sells. Yesterday I sold three elements like this. Uh, suffix no be changed. Crit, what I was testing. Uh, suffix no be changed. We reforce crit again. Uh, please give me three. Yeah. Okay. We got three. Now that we have three, which is the highest tier, we do suffix no be changed. And we want to reforge caster. We want to reforge caster so that we can get another influence mod. And then we want to elevate the 3 to 4 crit with um, Orbo Dominance. So we reforge caster. We should get lightning to spells. Or, or there's another two spells as well. And now we Orb of Dominance. And we hope that we remove the prefix and we give 4 crit to the suffix. And we bricked it. So we go back here. We do suffix no be changed again. And we try to get the crit back. Mm. Reforce crit, give me three. Unlucky. We are null. And we, we repeat. So this is going to be changed. And this goes on until uh, you get the three. Uh, crit. We get the three, please. Uh, one again. Unlucky. 50 50. You remove the. Uh, oh, uh, we need one open prefix, one open suffix. Unnull, unnull. Okay, it's open. Suffix cannot be changed. I'm gonna go faster now since you already got down like how it works. We need three. Okay, we got three and we got spells on the prefix. Uh, call to spell, call caster. It's the shaper mod, yeah. So we can, we don't even need to reforce now. We can just keep the call to spells and use the dominance right now. We want the crit to go to four. And we didn't get it. This is not good. We got so unlucky twice. Oh my god. Suffix cannot be changed. Reforce crit again. <coughs> We annul the crit because uh, it's full. 
we removed it, we got this again. We need to remove fire and we need to remove a prefix. It removed the horror mod, so we go again. We need to remove the accuracy. Okay. Now something's gonna be changed. Reforge crit, we go for three crit. We go one, there's unlucky. Annul it, we bricked it. Okay, this is not we are getting extremely unlucky. This is not the average. We should use two orb of conflicts on average, and uh, it shouldn't take it's a one in three to get three crit. We keep failing over and over. Like, like we keep getting one instead of three, man. This is not good. We break it again. We need to know the fire. Okay. Well, I crafted three elements yesterday and it wasn't as, as expensive as this. The first few steps were pretty easy. The the other part was the um the plus two. So get, get us three. Okay, we got three. Now we do suffix cannot. And we reforce caster for, for the caster caster mod. Caster. Okay. And now please give us four crit. And bro, again, how is this possible? Okay, we have open suffix. Uh suffix cannot. Reforge crit. Give us three, please. We got two. No, like this. We bricked it. More. And then I'm gonna get some manuals just in case. <clears throat> Yeah, we need suffix cannot. Reforge crit. We got two again. C come on, man. Not like this. It's a one in three. It's not hard, man. We got one. Another one. We bricked it. Uh, we need to we need to open a prefix. Unlucky. We already have a prefix open, so we can do suffix cannot. And then we reforce crit. We have one again. This is not good. Okay, we need to remove a prefix. Okay. Suffix cannot. Reforce crit. One. Oh, okay. This is not normal. Suffix cannot. <clears throat> Reforce crit. Two. Uh, oh, wait. I, I removed the, the, the more. Okay. We have an open suffix. Open prefix as well. Reforce crit. Okay. This is not... This is not normal. The item level is 85. We should be able to roll three, like, like we just got unlucky like crazy. We already rolled three once. Two again, it's a one in three, man. It's bricked. More, a null. Okay, it's open. It was crit. One, I, I, I'm about to give up. This is not, it's not normal. Remove accuracy, okay. It was crit. Give us three. Come on. Okay, we, we're good. We go again. Three. Okay, we got three. We got three, guys. We got three. Now, something's going to be changed if it's caster. Caster. Okay. And now, please awaken it. Give us four crit. Okay, we got guys. Finally, we actually got it. <clears throat> now, we have the suffixes that are full. We can do suffix cannot and we veiled orb. Suffix cannot. And we want to go for two uh, additional uh, gems. Uh, plus two away. So, we suffix cannot. Veiled orb. <clears throat> And then we block specters. Uh, additional uh, zombie. It's zombie, zombie. Plus one zombie, which is the highest weight. And this should be about a 43% chance to unveil. If we get lucky as well, this is not going to be good. Please give me plus two. 
Okay, it begins. We're getting lucky again. Let's just get a random one. And then we just have to be changed, cover it. <clears throat> it's a 44% chance now. Stuff is gonna be changed. We scour it. And then we stuff is gonna be changed. Veiled orb. We block zombie. We good. And then we unveil. And please give us plus two. Please give us plus two. And we go plus two to melee. Nope. We go again. Suffix cannot. We scour. Suffix cannot. Veildor. Zombie. Unveil. Zombie before unveiling. And then we go to June. Unveil. Plus two, please. Plus two projectile. We're getting every plus two but the one that we need. This is not good. And then we do suffix cannot. We need more scours. Suffix cannot. We scour it. We have to scour in this step because uh, we already have a veiled mod, so we can't use the veiled orb. <clears throat> and then we do suffix cannot. Veiled orb. Zombie. And then we unveil plus two gems. Here we Come on, this is not good. Okay, if you don't want to go like crazy and spend a lot of money, you can unveil life and craft plus one. Plus one AoE. But uh, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to keep going, even though I'm probably going to lose money. You, you can, you can, you don't have to go this crazy. You can stop at three crit and you can stop at just unveiling the life and plus one. And you can just do it really easily. Just, I just want it perfect, so I'm spending like 100 divines or something in this, even though it's not optimal. If you want, you can go for it and keep three crit and then plus one uh, with craft with the uh, unveiled life. But if you want to go perfect with plus two and, and four crit, you can have to RNG. And I'm getting extremely unlucky now. So we do something's gonna be changed. We scour it again because we need to remove the veil mod. So yeah, something's gonna be changed. Scour the life. Then we do something's gonna be changed. We need to add the veil mod. Boom. And then we block zombie because we need to unveil. And it's the best block. We go to June. And we plus two gems, AoE. Please, plus two melee again. It's not good. Then we do suffix cannot. Scour. Yep. Suffix cannot again. They'll do the last one. And then we do zombie. I I'm going to have to go buy more if, uh, if I don't get it. Plus two AoE. Yes, we got it finally. Okay. Finally, we got it. And then we craft life and we're good. We I don't have I don't have uh, alchemies. Uh let, let me see if Tudzin has some. Tudzin, hook me up. He doesn't have alchemies. I'm just gonna craft uh I'm just gonna craft any life for now. I'm gonna change the life later. But yeah, um let's price check it. So let's go on on here and look for um AoE gems, two, and then we do IPO, 20, IPO, uh, there's two different ones, I'm gonna put both, and then I'm gonna do uh, more elemental, more elemental, and then we do spell crit, socket spells, socket spells of crit, yeah, we need four, 30, and then ink AOE, ink AOE, increased area, level 20, okay. Increased area level. I'm going to put both of them because I, I'm not sure which one it is. <clears throat> and then 70 life, life 60 plus, total maximum life, I'm going to put like 50. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six mods. Let's see what, what we get. Uh, five. Okay, this is like 110 divs minimum. It's the same as uh, the one that we did. How much did I spend? I started with like 100 something divines. 150-ish. I spent like 90. But I got two bases and I got so unlucky that it's crazy. 
Um, wait, this one doesn't have plus two. Wait, wait, all of these. Wait, 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 wait. All of these don't have plus two. Plus two are two fifty, guys. Okay, so we actually made profit. We actually made like hundred divine profit. Even though I got extremely unlucky, I made still made hundred divine profit. So yeah, it's not bad. If I stopped for like a decent one, just awakening the suffix and not going for. See, like these ones don't have a plus two. They only have uh, crafted the five ticket and they unveiled life. So I was like 250, the, the, the cheapest listed. It doesn't sold in a day, so probably around 200, 200 something. But yeah. Um, this one has conk. This one is better. Oh, this one is mirrored. Okay. Yeah, I would say between 150 and 200 then. Between 150 and 200, so we made profit and we have another base to craft on. So yeah, I'm going to craft life and it's done. Uh, for the other craft, is the same exact uh, um, strategy. Is everything is the same? I'm gonna put everything here. Uh, there's a step by step on the other base that I made here. Horror craft suffix cannot be changed. Reforce crit, and then suffix cannot be changed. Uh, unveil, and then you craft zombie. You unveil, and you craft AOE, or you keep going, and you. Um, you keep going, something's gonna be changed, uh, scour, something's gonna be changed, unveil, and keep going again until it's perfect. Uh, let me take a screenshot of the perfect version. Something like this. Um, I'm gonna add it to the spreadsheet. Yeah, and that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!